AI can welcome visitors to your website and turn them into customers while you sleep. Let's take a look at how an AI chatbot can help grow your business in this episode. Hey everyone, Scott Meyer here from Chip. This is 5-Minute AI, where we show you how to live well and work smart with just a little bit of AI in five minutes or less. Today, we're gonna show you how to build a custom support chatbot for your website. This is going to be a powerful way for customers to find information quickly and for you to see what people are asking about. You can use that information to improve your messaging, to improve your website, and customers can use that information to quickly book meetings, buy products, and get information they need fast in any language at any time of the day or night. So let's dive in and show you how to do it. When you visit a website like Chip, it's easy to add a chatbot like you see here in the bottom right corner. With a little bit of messaging, you can get people to click on that button and start asking questions. You can even tell them what questions they might ask. For example, how can I use Chip? As you can see, AI will quickly generate answers to them and drive them to the information they want. So this is a great way for you to give information, but also to book meetings and generate leads to help grow your business. And as you can see, these can be used in any language in any website. And what's amazing is that it will be able to translate your information to anyone at any time. So as we can see here, it's in Dutch. I might say speak in English and it will then just change its language to fit and give me all the information that I need. So this is a great way to grow your business, both in terms of efficiency, but also in potential customers. So how do you do it? Let's dive in and show you how. Creating a custom chatbot is easy with Chip. So just go to chip.ai where you can get started. When you create an application, there's three pieces of information that you're going to need. First is gonna be the easy one, which is the style. Uploading your logo and then a little bit of text people will see to entice them to start the conversation. Second, you're going to wanna to have knowledge sources. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and you can see here, we can click on a new source. What you can do is just link your website and any information on that website will become available as training. So if you have pricing on your website, you can just click on the URL, type in your page.com slash pricing, and then scan it and it'll add that to your site. You could also under knowledge sources, add proposals. So if you have typical pricing or a way to explain your services, you can just click on documents, find that document, upload it. And now your AI chatbot is going to use that information in its conversation. If you're good with video, you can add YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok to also add more knowledge sources. Now, once you have it looking good and you have it trained on knowledge, it's time for the instructions. So the instructions are you telling the AI chatbot how to behave. To do this, give it a role, some instructions, some parameters, and some examples. So its role is gonna be a positive customer support re representative. I'll put all of this in the uh, show notes so you can definitely just copy and paste it. I like to put parameters like make it short, short responses so it's not talking too long. I also recommend that it gives additional information. And then I always like to have it uh, get, send people to a lead. So remind them they can email me or book a call and that'll give a link. So that's a great way to get people to start booking meetings and generating business for me. Now, an important part of the instructions is adding in additional examples. So if you know people are going to ask something, you can put examples or key information in this instruction. This is like adding your website or PDF, but I like this to focus on the most important things. So here you can see everything with the three hashtags are my examples. So I put language about what chip is. I put language about pricing exactly how I want it to behave. And then I can add in my questions. So here you can see on the right hand side, I have questions about chip. How can I use chip? And I just add those in under my conversation starters. So I can make these conversation starters match my example. So I'm driving users to ask the questions I want and then also giving them ways to generate leads. When we're done, all we have to do is click on share and we can embed this widget. So we just copy this code and then we can paste it into our website into the footer. And you can do that through like a plugin if it's on WordPress, you can do it through code if it's on Webflow or other website builders. So you're just gonna need to put this code into your footer and you'll have that beautiful widget ready to go. After your chatbot is live, the fun begins. You can click on chats within the Chip app and you can see all of the conversations your users are having. This is a great way to get an understanding of the questions they are having so you can improve your website and your marketing and your application in our case. So I can scroll through this and see what they're asking about. In this case, Stripe, I can see they actually started asking in Portuguese. You can see how seamless this AI chatbot is driving people the information they need and generating leads for me at any time. Your website doesn't have to be static. It can be dynamic, conversing with potential customers and driving them to become leads. Unlike traditional chatbots that just behave in an if-then statement, AI chatbots converse with real language, pulling in real leads that match what people are asking. I'm excited to see what you build and how you generate leads with your AI chatbot.